So a lot of people might not realize, but we actually use Pico MES internally as well to build our own products that we send to our customers. So for example, today we'll build one of our hubs using Pico. So I'm gonna select the process from the station here. I'll get my scan tool ready, and then I'm gonna record the serial number of the Pi, as well as its case, and whatever other trace data we might need. Snap it into its housing. Load the SD with our software provisions. Power it up for the provisioning process. Click the foot switch and away it goes. And then while it's running, the system in the background here, I get to prepare for the next one. So go ahead and clean our sticker surfaces. Line up that sticker. There you go, ready to go for the next one. So while I'm doing this, every once in a while I'm looking up at the screen and just seeing where it is in its process because it indicates to me exactly what it's doing in the flashing system and configuration in the cloud. It prints that out and the print is my trigger because it does it automatically. I don't have to worry about you know, sitting there waiting to trigger the printer. So I use the foot switch to automatically start up the next build here and then we're right back into it. So. For now, we can take a moment and just kind of talk about why am I in here building the product? Uh, because A, I'm no different than anybody else in our company, but B, um, as we have more team members use the system, the more we find improvement opportunities. So I have a bench uh, that I use regularly, so do other team members, and then we actually have outsourced vendors that, that also perform this work and build, build our systems for us is how we achieve the scale that we need. But by using the system here, it keeps me tied in directly to the product from a user's experience. Both the operator screens here, and then in the background over here, I've got the manage pages going where I can reconfigure processes as I find improvements, um, as well as look at the data over time. That's one of the things that we're always checking for is opportunities for improvement and ways we can improve the customer experience.